In this video you will learn how to protect your routes inside React Router in your React application. And just from the start I must tell you that on the client side it is impossible to protect your routes. Anybody can access your JavaScript, execute code and access your page. This is why it is extremely important that you protect your data on the backend and you are not allowing person who is not logged in access your API. With that being said, let's look on our application. As you can see here, I already prepared for a small React application with two pages. I have here dashboard route and protected route. This is URL slash protected and we really want to access this protected route only when our user is logged in. Let's look what we have inside our application. Inside main.js we simply wrapped our app with browser router because we are using React Router like a typical solution to implement routing inside React. Secondly, inside our app we have first of all two links to our dashboard and protected and here are our two routes with path slash and path protected. And as you can see here, inside our component we don't have anything at all, this is just a text dashboard and text protected. And the way how we will protect our routes doesn't have anything to do with React Router. The main idea is that inside our element we should not just throw the component, but we want to wrap it in a parent component that will do all our checks and make sure that we can access this in a component. So in a second we will create our parent component which is called auth. This is why here on the top I want to import our auth. And this is just React component, so here the path will be auth. And now we just need to wrap our protected route or any route that we want to protect with auth component. So we are simply wrapping this element with auth and nothing more. And it is not really React Router code, because inside element we can write any markup that we want. Now let's create our auth component. So here is auth JSX, and inside I want to define that we have auth, and as a props we have access to our children. Why do we need children, and what is children? This is a possibility to access our child component. In our case we must use children because inside this component we must render our child component private. And here on the bottom I want to export with default auth. So what we want to define inside is a state for current user that we will fetch from the API. So if you have just a synchronous check that you can do directly in the client, then it is super simple. We can simply check here for example a token inside our local storage. So if local storage dot get item with a token is there, then we want to return our children. So here is simply return children. In another case, we want to navigate to our home page. This is why here on the top I will import navigate component from React Router DOM. And if you don't know, this is a possibility to redirect a user to another page. So here I simply want to return navigate and inside I am providing to slash, which actually means if we have this token then we are returning children, if we don't then we are navigating to our slash. Let's check this out, we don't have any errors, let's jump inside browser and try to access protected. As you can see I am jumping inside and it is blinking, but then we are redirected directly to our home page and we are not on slash protected. But now let's try to open our application and here jump to local storage and here create this token property with any value. Now I will make it smaller and try to jump to protected page. And as you can see I can directly access this page and we are now in slash protected. This happens because inside our router we simply rendered auth component with a child, we checked here that we have this token and we rendered our inner component. And if we don't have this token, then we simply redirect a user to our home page. But it becomes more difficult when we are talking about asynchronous code. Typically in the real application you won't have your current user on the client and you want to get it from the API and only after you got your user you want to redirect the user or allow accession to the page. This is why here I won't do an API call, but I will simulate it with set timeout and it will bring the same result. In order to do that, first of all I want to create a state for current user. So here is our current user and set current user. 
And here I will write use state and by default I will write here undefined. And you might wonder why I have here undefined and not null. And actually we will have three different states here. Undefined if we didn't fetch a user yet, then null if we are not logged in and object of current user if we are logged in. After this let's create user effect and on initialize we want to fetch user once. This is why here let's provide an empty object and inside I will simulate we set timeout our long API call. This is why here I will write 2 seconds and now inside let's write logic of fulfilling our current user after we did an API call. So here we can write exactly the same logic, for example to check the local storage. But in the real application you will get current user and set it inside your state. But we can simply do if local storage dot get item token is there, then we want to set our current user. So here I will simply write an object with id1 and name foo, which actually means we are logged in. In other case we are not logged in and we want to set it to null. Now after this we can write our markup. First of all let's write what we will do if our current user equals undefined, which means we are in the state where we don't know if we need to redirect a user or not. This is why here I will simply return null and it means that we are not doing anything. In another case if we don't have our current user but we already don't have undefined which means we have null we want to navigate the user. So here I will return our navigate component to and here we have slash. And the last case means that we have a user we will simply return here our children. As you can see we don't have any errors and let's reload our page. So here I am inside dashboard, I am jumping to protected and we don't have any content but we are on slash protected page. Which actually means our content is not being rendered until we got this data from current user. Which actually means we are waiting for our API call or in our case set timeout until we set current user and now we are on the safe side. But if I will try to remove this token from local storage then it won't work because I'm reloading the page, I'm jumping to protect it and after 2 seconds I'm directly redirected to the home page because we got the user and now we know that we are not logged in. And actually if you are interested to know how to implement pagination inside React on your own, make sure to check this video also.